Yeah, so this was the first time that they were in front of a judge. It was very brief, their interaction here in this courthouse today, as the trial dates were set for pair trials. They're going to be closely watched here in Loudoun County. Is there anything you'd like to say about the uh, indictment charges against you? Dr. Scott Ziegler, the Loudoun County superintendent, offered no comment as he walked into the courthouse. Inside, he sat in the back of the courtroom speaking with his attorney. Before he was called up by the judge, he's been indicted on three misdemeanor charges. One for false publication dating back to June 2021 when he was accused of unlawfully, knowingly and willfully delivering false information. And two other charges for prohibited conduct and penalizing an employee for a court appearance relating to an incident in June 2022 when he's accused of mistreating a school employee. Ziegler was fired earlier this month shortly after the results of a grand jury investigation into a pair of sexual assaults in Loudoun County schools were released. The report states that there was, quote, a stunning lack of openness, transparency and accountability, both to the public and the grand jury. Also in court today was Wade Byard, the school system's spokesperson. He's facing felony perjury charges for statements he made in August of this year. His attorney was unavailable today, and so he'll be back in court in January. Here he was outside of the courtroom. At this point, I can't address any specific charges because neither my attorney nor myself have been given any indication of what I've been alleged to do. So I can't do that. I uh, plan on pleading not guilty. Scott Smith is the father of one of the sex assault victims and was in court watching the proceedings. It's going to be a long year in and out of court. We're not going to be a part of every part of this any longer. We are going to start stepping out of the limelight and uh, get our lives back. We're really looking forward to it. OK, now we are set to see a long legal battle ahead of us. Ziegler has his trial dates already set. They're going to be in May and July. As for Bayard, he's set to be back in this courthouse on January 5th to get his trial date because his attorney was not here today. Reporting here in Leesburg, Evan Kozlov, WUSA 9.